ASIO officers have taken possession of hundreds of cabinet documents obtained by the ABC in a massive security breach. Members of Australia's domestic spy agency entered ABC newsrooms late last night after an agreement was struck for the return of the confidential papers. More from political reporter Caitlin Gribbin. Well, the ABC and the Prime Minister's Department came to an agreement that those documents uh, could be returned last night and that's when ASIO officers came to ABC newsrooms to take custody of those sensitive documents. Now, the files had been locked in safes that ASIO had brought into the newsrooms in Canberra, uh, Brisbane and in Melbourne uh, and, of course, there were hundreds of pages of classified documents inside those safes. So what we saw last Last night uh, where those officers uh, come in, their faces are blurred because their identities are protected by law. In Melbourne, uh, the officers wheeled out uh, the safe that contained the documents and then in Brisbane and Canberra, the agency's staff uh, moved the papers into some bags and then took them away. Uh, now, the reason for all of this, Ros, the government wants the papers back because they are highly classified documents and they exposed some of the inner workings of five separate governments over nearly a decade. Uh, and of course, we will not remember. We will not forget uh, the incredible story anytime soon of how those files were made public, found in two filing cabinets that had been bought at a second-hand ex-government furniture sale. Now, Ros, the ABC has issued a statement uh, about the return of these documents to ASIO. Uh, the national broadcaster says it has protected its source while acknowledging the national security value of the files. Mm. Caitlin, there are warnings. Australia's relationship with uh, allies may be in jeopardy as a result of this security breach. What can you tell us about that? Ros, sources have confirmed to us that this bungle has in fact been the chatter, uh, the subject of chatter among our uh, so-called Five Eyes security partners. So those partners include the US, UK, Canada and New Zealand. And we've also heard some concerns uh, from one MP uh, who has some background in this space, Andrew Wilkie, uh, a federal MP, independent MP, uh, who's also a former intelligence analyst, has raised an issue uh, that he says uh, this whole security breach could send an a signal to those intelligence partners and allies that Australia might not actually be trustworthy when it comes to sharing information and intelligence. Now, Ros, although the ABC has not published files that could compromise national security, the government doesn't know the full extent of the breach and couldn't yet assure intelligence partners that sensitive material was not included in the papers. Uh, the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet is now conducting an urgent investigation into this. Uh, as I say, we're not exactly sure when that's going to wrap up, uh, but obviously lots of questions that still need to be answered as to how this happened in the first place. Mm. Caitlin, thanks.